Okay, so we are live now. This uh, video is going to be <coughs> today's topic is going to be me creating this uh, ebook cover. Uh, it's going to be a rerun of uh, yesterday uh, yesterday's uh, live session because uh, I realized there are some things I want to make some adjustment and upon viewing the recording, I find the audio quality is. <laughs> Not up to expectation, let's say. So I'll be redoing my work. Yes, what I done yesterday, um, with a little bit of a touch up because uh, I rewatched the replay and I guess there are some places where I can improve. Okay, so um, so first upfront, I'll just let you know what's in store for today. Okay, today I'll be creating a ebook cover. Then I'll be creating the same gra graphics over here. On different templates so um, you can achieve this all this without any graphic uh, design skill you do not need to know how to use Adobe Photoshop or anything because frankly I'm not a graphic designer okay but uh, I have access to some tools which make uh, it very easy so a non graphic designer can uh, can get the work done right so that will be the first part of uh, today's live stream and the second part will be me building a simple page where I allow people to download what I just created. Okay, um, the follow up webinar to this will be after we create our ebook, after we create this page, how can we potentially make money from it? Alright, so uh, just stay around. I'll try to make these uh, live streams as uh, frequent as possible because every day. This is what I do every day, okay? Whichever part which I think uh, I can share with you, I'll share with you. Because uh, frankly, I do have uh, some courses which you have to pay for access, but this is uh, information which I guess uh, I don't mind sharing, okay? Because uh, it will benefit a lot of people and uh, it's not really a secret. <laughs> These are more like tips and tricks, okay? Uh, okay, so let's get started. I'll go through the whole thought process so you can figure out like why I make certain certain decisions. Okay, so before you design an ebook, you need to know roughly um, what do you want to follow. For example, um, I do have one. Okay, so. This is what I'm trying to uh, emulate. Okay, I have a free training about getting web traffic for zero cost. Okay, so this is something which I want to follow, and I even use the uh, text. I guess uh, I feel this is a very good text, so I'll just copy it up front because I don't need to keep typing it after this. And it's getting a little hot. Let me just turn on the air conditioner. Right. Okay, I will be referencing this design. We are not copying, we are referencing. Right? Oops. Okay, just check if uh, everything is well in stream. Okay. So, first, what you do is you go to Google, and since the topic is on website traffic, I'll type website traffic and I'll search for the images. Okay, this is not for me to go and get images. You can't do this, okay, because chances are this uh these images they are copyrighted, so you can't just copy and paste, but you can get a lot of ideas on what are the images you're trying to get. For example, if I type weight loss, okay, I can get an idea. In fact, this is a much better example. Here, I can see roughly what are the images which people will think of when they, you mention the word weight loss. So, if I were to create an ebook about weight loss, I probably would like to use images something like this. Where else, my example, what I'm going to do today when I re reference website traffic, I don't really see um, a very because website traffic is something abstract. It's not. It's not like a phone or fruits, vegetables. 
when you mention traffic, it's quite hard to imagine what is it going to be. But I guess uh, these clicks pointing to this uh, laptop. Okay, I get it. It's quite old. It's quite good. I wonder if I can buy this image. <laughs> All right. The others are just showing like uh, graphs. Okay, so. I guess most be, most internet marketers, most website owners, when they think about traffic, I guess this conveys the message. Okay, it's not as good as the weight loss example. Okay, I'll just give another example which I can think of on the top of my head. Um, let's see. So you're going to write a book about working from home or start your home business. So I'll just type the word home business and I see what appears. Okay, somebody in a non very obvious okay this is a very good picture I'll tell you why I think it's very good this one look at this picture you know this person is working from home why because the background suggests it's from home okay and here it suggests it's a home office so this is a very good picture this looks like an office it doesn't look like a home office but usually, um, if you want to create your ebook, I will suggest uh, what we call vector graphics or clip art. These are, these are photos. Okay, these are vector graphics. Photos, I don't really like them for um, my ebook cover. That's my personal preference. All right. So, um, there's one way you want, uh, if you like to get uh, free images, you can't get them from Google. But what do I do is I go to this website, it's called Pixabay. So here are royalty free images. Free images and videos you can use anywhere. All images and videos on Pixabay are released free of copyright. You may download, modify, distribute and use them royalty free for anything you like, even in commercial applications. So uh, if you ask me where I'm going to get all my graphics, this is the place. Right? In fact, I have did some preparation work. For this uh, live stream so since um, traffic is so related with a graph I decided I'll just pick a graph here well I could go to Microsoft Excel and create my own graph but I'm lazy <laughs> so I'll just uh, download this image I'll choose the medium size it's good enough on Okay, I've downloaded this image. So this will be our background for today. Okay, the next step will be me going into going into the application which I use to uh, create all my e-covers. Okay, uh, yesterday I started with uh, this ebook, but I realized if I would like to create um many different uh, shall I say if I like to create many different templates I should start with another one but just a quick glance what I would like to create I'll start with something which does not have a spine something spine is this uh, section okay like this doesn't have a spine this has a spine here so I'll start with something simple This suggests it's a very thick. So uh, let's just plan ahead what I like to create. This will help in the process, so I might as well do it. If you saw me on live stream yesterday, you find that um, today it's a bit more streamlined because uh, I'm actually doing it a second time, and you find it a bit more informative. So practice makes perfect. If you keep doing something every day, you'll get, you'll get quite good at it. So first I want to create a e-cover for the free report. Next I want to create a ebook. Next I'd like to create something which implies there's video training. I'd like to create a CD cover. I guess uh, 
And so we'll be creating six items today. These are all the things I like to create. And I already thought of the design yesterday. Because uh, after I created everything, I compared my work with um, others. And when you compare, you get ideas where you need to improve on. Okay, so let's start with the free report. Okay, the free report is something we imply it's very thin. People can go through it in like a half an hour max. <laughs> so I guess uh, to me this uh, looks thin enough. Anything thinner, it will be a checklist. So I'll just use this template. And my work yesterday, what I like is I like the top section. I did not like this text. It's doesn't contrast like a black background, yellow text, good contrast, okay, good. Black background, white text, very good contrast. Red background, white con white text is a very good contrast, which is why I use red and white in most of my work. Okay, it's like my uh, it's like my team. <laughs> Whenever you see red and white probably it's done by me. Okay. Okay, I like this part, this part to a certain extent I like and the bottom part I'm not sure how they pull it off ah, they don't really pull it off so the adjustments will be made there okay. first uh, this application they'll ask me to select a background um, I prefer not to have a background I'll use white select white color and here. So everything will be in white color. Okay, good. This is the background. I like a plain background. Then I'll insert our image. Okay. I just downloaded the image. Now I'm going to upload it over here. It's called arrow here. use this image okay this is me I prefer to view the whole cover in one view so I'll make my browser smaller okay I zoom out make this picture a bit smaller it doesn't have to occupy the whole place just you know, roughly center okay next I like to Oops, not this. To get the impression of, you know, to get the black background, this is uh, how I do it here. I'll insert a shape which is uh, black in color. Yep, this is the one. Here. Drag it all the way. And I like the text yesterday, so I'll be reusing the same one. Zero cost. I even like the title, so I'm just going to reuse the title which I came up with yesterday. Zero cost. And I'll pick an effect, the text effect. I'll pick gold. Okay, and I'll add the text. So this is what's going to appear on the top side. So well, but we got it. And this is uh, my way of designing. The first go, I'll just place things roughly there, and we'll make the fine adjustments. Let's say if it's, I want it a little to the left or to the right, I'll make the adjustments later. The first go, we just get the big, uh, the posi the overall design, I should say. So yesterday, what I did was I picked this effect, and today I wanted it to look. Um, I wanted it to have a better contrast with uh, the white background. So today I'm using a black text. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, I'm happy with what I see. Maybe the font, I'll try another font. 
Okay, uh, I'll use the same exact same. I use the exact same uh, font, and I guess this will work better. Cause this looks a bit too fancy. Let's try something which looks a bit more normal. Yeah, I prefer this. So, yeah, zero cost traffic methods. Stretch it a little. So this will be the template. Okay, I'll call this the free report. So below, I'm going to create a. Shall I use black color? Let me think about this. Yeah, I'll just keep it simple. Maybe not black, I'll just pick something grey. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. So text, this time this will be free report. And this time we can go for blue. I guess I like this font, so I'll just keep it. When you have this background, you can use the lighter text color. Not when it's white, when it's gray. I guess it looks good. Okay, I'm happy with what I see. So let's uh, generate. Let us get this uh, platform to generate the e-cover for us so uh, the reason why I like to use this platform and I encourage people to use it is it's all web based you don't need to install any software um, just buy the access to it it's a one time fee I forgot how much frankly then you can use it from any computer any laptop okay uh, frankly, it looks a bit ugly on first sight. Let me see what I can do to make it look better. Hmm. I think I need to change uh, this this uh, font effect. The color doesn't really look nice. I have to change this. And free report doesn't look nice at all. Right? Okay, adjustments have to be made. Okay, let's be boring and just use uh, <laughs> just use a normal font, no if no fancy effects. Let's see how it goes. Gray doesn't really work well. I'll choose something which uh, more or less has the same type of color here. This free report doesn't look nice. Okay, that has to go. I wonder if this is green. <laughs> no. It's not. Okay. Is this black in color? Hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, should be. Okay, three so reports. Maybe smaller. Okay, let's see how it looks. Take two. Always the first cover will take a bit long time. But once you have the overall feel, all the other templates will be it's just a very small modification to the first. Okay, I'm more satisfied this time. But this free report really looks a bit weird. Okay, I'll reduce the size of this. I'll bring the picture down and I'll bring uh, the word traffic methods down a little. Down a little. This uh, down here. Okay, take three. See the adjustments get uh, less and less. So I believe we are almost there. Oh, guess what? I don't even need to use this text. <laughs> yes, you can uh, put your name on the book, but uh, I find that to be a bit distracting, so I did not do that. If I'm going to print this out, as in create a real book, yes, I'll put my name there. But if it's going to be online download, I'll skip it. Okay, looks simple enough. Keep it. Why 500? Because I like round numbers rather than the weird number I got just now. And 1000 is a bit too big. I find that uh, if the image is too big, it slows down the loading speed of your web page. Which uh, I find 500, 500 times 500, 500 times 6, 700, it's uh, very good. Uh, it's not too small and the file size isn't too big. We go up to 1000, things start to be on the slow side. Okay. And by in mind, most people are viewing your website from mobile phones and tablets. They might be using data plans, so you want to reduce the size of your um, you want to reduce the size of your web page. Okay. Now let's create another cover. Based on this, I'll choose another e-cover. Now that I have the free report, this will be the ebook. Okay, everything is good. I'll just need to change this. Notice it shows clearly which is the spine area, so I'll need to move things to the right a little. This is what we call a uh, Mm, I I do not want to use the word ebook. I'm thinking of what word should I use? Training module. Does the word training guy exist? Okay, I'll use the word training guide. <laughs> I'll just use that. resizing everything and usually I'll be able to see where the spine is but uh, because I'm using I'm using this background I guess it covered the border so I have to use my 
estimation okay but it's okay these are minor details and thankfully it's not too slow so I can just make as many adjustments as I want let's see how the book looks this time it, it should look like a full book rather than you know something like a yeah, I have one complaint. There's no border here. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling it looks very weird? <laughs> you see, people judge the book by the cover. So in some ways, I hope it suddenly looks better. Hmm. But it's okay. Uh, I can choose which uh, which will I upload later. Okay. For now, I'll just uh, I'll proceed with what I planned out. No, from far it doesn't look that bad. Okay, uh, let me try this. Okay, uh, this is out of the original plan because I kind of like this cover a bit more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the part which I dislike and replace it. Hmm. Tell me, I can make it black. Let's see how it looks. The only complaint yesterday was there's no contrast here. Let's see if I can fix the problem. Okay, I'm happy. Because I'm I'm going to use this uh, as my as my work. I'm really going to use this so I might as well do a better job. Okay. It feels a bit weird to do work and explain at the same time, but I guess I'll get used to all this. Okay, I'm happy. To move this to the right just a little and I'm considering this section let me think about it move it to the right a little and this section what happened where, where is my uh, where's my image it's okay. oh. No big deal, no big deal. All these have been uploaded here. All I need to do is reinsert it. Okay. No panic required. Okay. Did I delete the text? Oh, it's okay. Uh, I was thinking the text is a bit too long anyway. Let's try to be boring and use the same. <laughs> it's the same for the top and the bottom. Let's see how it looks. This is where your art artistic judgment comes into play. I won't say I'm the best at it. Wow, 
what's the word? Top three proven methods to create website traffic. See how it turns out. <laughs> Too long, I have to shorten the word. Okay, if there's one complaint of this uh, program, yes, if your text is too long, you can't just, you know, make it. That's my only complaint for this platform. And silly me, I forgot to copy the text. Okay, this is where you apply a bit of a copywriting skill into your work. Um, when it comes to copywriting, you have to always think of what your audience wants. Okay, so when it comes to free traffic, why do people want free traffic? Because they want to increase their profits. So I'll say to unlock unlimited profits. Why unlimited? The word unlimited because when it comes to free traffic, means there's no cost. When you have no cost, your profits are unlimited. Okay, that's my reasoning. And this time I'll be a bit smarter. I'll copy the text before clicking this. Still a bit too long. Okay, um, I s let me try if I can pick another font and make it uh, see if it can fit everything into two lines. Because I don't think I can take away any words from this. Else I have to reduce. To shave off some words. Free traffic secrets to unlimited profits. Okay, fantastic. Let's see how it looks. This is like the hybrid of yesterday's work and today's work. Not really, it's more towards me fixing just yesterday's work. I wanted to try to use a vector graphic instead of a vector graphic is you know I'm doing this rather than this, but it seems like I prefer this, it looks a bit uh it looks of a higher quality work, in my opinion, right? Okay, the alignment, everything, I'm happy with it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to save this. I'm pretty happy with what I see. Download it on my computer. Now, proceed to... Yeah, it looks way better than... It looks way better. Zero cost traffic method. The bottom part I don't really care. 
Okay, but it's uh, just a very good improvement overall. I'll say it, it looks even better here. Do you agree? <laughs> mm, yeah, I'll say it looks better. Okay, so now I've done this. I'm going to create this and this and this. Okay, but before that, let's refer what I like to copy and I'll just use a new page. It's getting a bit complicated. All right. My first question will be: Am I able to? Well, it's okay. I'll just click on edit. It will bring me here, and I'll pick another template. Okay. I have my ebook. Okay, it can be like here. Then I need the spine. I can produce a spine. I can produce a software box. Can I create this with this platform? Not the exact one, but I can create a CD. Um, it looks like this. Okay. Mm, I guess this will do. Okay. So I'll, the next one I'm going to create is. I have the ebook. I'm going to create the free report this time. Okay, free report. Let's use this. Okay, this time instead of this text, I'll be using the word free report here. So first, delete free report. Did I use red just now? I think I use red. I think. Yeah, I guess I use red. Free report. And I believe I have to move them a bit. In the center because this has no spine and finalize let's see how it looks see the first image always takes the most time the other templates are pretty quick just a few movements here and there adding a bit deleting some images and yeah you have it my difference is I, I usually I put something like a TV or a monitor to imply the video element rather than this okay, I mean this might not look nice but if I put a background it will look much better right see hmm. okay. it's a lot of white space here I have to do something about this let's check the alignment I'm happy with all the alignment I just need to drag this to the bottom slightly okay, and here we go yep no graphic designing experience required just drag and drop Using this to create a name card might not be the best tool. This is more towards creating ebook cover. We call this an e-cover designer in the internet marketing language. Okay, perfect. Make it transparent. Make it 500. Download. Close it. So it automatically saves. Now I'm going back to Next, I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to create the CD.
it's okay. I'll use I'll reuse this. Mm. Or maybe I shouldn't. That's okay. This time I'm gonna create a CD. Yep, this is the one. Move things to the center. Now I'll say it's the video Dem video demonstration because I do not know how to spell that's why you use Google for okay if your English isn't top top tier very polished it's okay if it's really bad you need the proof someone to proofread all your work but if you're doing a live video demo like me I guess it can't be it. not much you can do about it just make sure your audience understand what you're speaking then I guess you're good enough it, it's funny I, I was learning to create my own website on a very particular item so I searched YouTube for uh, for answers that person was speaking in a language it's not English it's not any language which I understand but strangely enough just by him showing the step by step oh my god this is not what I imagined just by him showing step by step I managed to uh, solve my website problem I was a bit shocked when I saw <laughs> when I saw this it's really not what I imagined okay Something is not right. Hmm. Mm hmm. It's because I choose uh, my own background. That's why I can't see uh, where the CD is exactly. Oops, why I picked this? I believe the CD image, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, uh, the reason why I'm picking this is I want to see where the CD is. Alright, okay, good. Now I can see where the CD is. I'll copy. I'll copy the images. Okay, come down here. Okay, let's be a bit lazy today. I'll just stack it over here. Ah, okay, let's put some effort in our work. Some effort. Copy this. First, I'll copy the background, of course. Have I selected it? I'll copy the background. Alright, it's here. Zero cost. Zero cost traffic method. All right, perfect. Copy. Zero cost. Traffic method should be over here. Okay, 
looks good. Now I have to remove this ridiculous background. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Create. Did that work? Okay, we won't know until we finalize our work. The reason why I use the mountain image just now is I want to see the outline where exactly the CD is. That's another complaint of this uh, platform, but there are ways to work around it. <laughs> Beats hiring a graphic designer every time and it beats uh it beats you learning photoshop okay that's still a very big area i need to feel i was not aware of this whoops did this cover yep i was not aware here just pick this cover just to look at the outline I wonder where does it stop? I really wonder. Hmm. Let's see how it looks. I'm purely estimating this time. I have no idea where it is. And why did I leave the background as clouds? I have no idea. <laughs> but there's another change in the thing. This is just estimating how far it goes. I have no idea. If anything, I should have made the top part a bit longer. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, good to see that. And I'm surprised there's still. I thought I filled all the space. Okay, I'm happy where this ended. Oh. The word traffic method is blocked. Um, I have a change of plans. I'll use another template. This just it's not worth the hassle. I'll use another template. I'll use this. How do I send this to the background? Oh, here you are. Uh, This is me now figuring out which is which. I'm a bit confused to be frank. Consider this you watching me uh, figuring out the final details. Right. 
somewhere around here it should be perfect. Traffic method and this will be the rest of it. And let's remove the ridiculous cloud. Let's hope it works. Yes, if you master this uh, platform, you could actually offer your service as a graphic designer, a freelance graphic designer, without learning stuff like Photoshop. So miraculously, everything fits perfectly. I'll just move the zero cost slightly to the bottom and it should be perfect. So happy with getting everything, almost everything, right the first time. Should have used this uh, cover, this template just now. Things would have been uh, much easier. But hey, that's the learning process. Transparent background. Okay, always make it 500 before I download. 500 times 300 seems a little small. What I'll do is I'll just increase it a little. 600, download again. Okay, close to save it. That's how you save it on this platform. You just click the button close. Now we create the. Mm, the, the template with uh, some with a monitor or TV. Okay, let's see which works better. TV. TV. Now this looks horrible. I tried this, so I'm not gonna do it today. Uh, I'll just use the iMac template. And it looks a bit small, I'm a bit disappointed. What I can do is I can shrink this a little. No, I'll use another template. I don't like this, it's too small. I like to fill in a bit more information. Mm. Perhaps this TV doesn't change the problem. It doesn't change anything. Guess we all have to live with this. It's not the worst thing ever. The TV image and the CDs imply that it's going to be video training, which there is video training in this package. So, yeah. you try to convey the message without using words, just by pictures. Okay, let's uh, review. This is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. I just still need a checklist. Do I need a checklist? No, I don't think so. CD cover done. Let's see what else. Many books. No, no, no. 
not this time. Um, I'll say book module. I'm not sure what how to say this, but uh, once I pick a template, you know what I mean. <laughs> Come out. Yes, this is the one. Instead of free report, this time we're going to write module one. Implies that there are four modules. And the membership card is very very easy to read. Module one. Why is it in? Is this small letter M? I do not like the font. I'll change it. I really did not like the font. It looks like small letter here. I mean, it looks ridiculous. So I change it. Okay, looks a bit more fancy. It looks a bit fancy, but uh, I don't mind it. Should it be a bit more serious. Yeah, since something like a training module, I'll, I'll, I'll make it a bit uh, look a bit serious, a little more serious. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with Arial if you want something official. Oh my, it's getting stuffy in my room. Okay, Arial never fails. I believe I can only see the first e uh, first cover, so uh, should imply that there's four modules here. Let's see if it works out. Fantastic! Exactly what I wanted. Once more, complaint. I would like this area to be black. Very minor complaint. Everything is almost done. Just the membership. Okay, perfect. Download. Close. Uh, the membership is very similar to this, um, so I'll just click on edit. Am I missing it? Okay, here.
Ah, oh, it's okay, I'll just take I was considering adding the word membership card below or license. Um, but I decided against it in the last minute. If if the title is just you know I can fit everything in one line, then yeah I can make it. Uh, I can write membership card or license key below. But since this is taking like two thirds of the screen, I guess it doesn't look nice at all. It looks ridiculous. So uh, I decided against that. Okay, a sl small adjustments required. More space on top. It's needed, so this will have to be shrunk a little. Come down here, bring this down, and increase. Okay, take two. After we've done all the individual components, you see, notice everything is done now. Next, I have to package everything together so it looks like this. And it can be done with this platform, eCouple Authority. Okay, perfect. Make it transparent, download. Okay. So this time I'll be coming, I'll be heading over to Packager. Now this is a part which I struggle a bit. So of course I have to Think how I want to arrange everything. Okay, these cards will be here. Cards can be a bit smaller. The training modules. Okay, when a book or a screen is slanting you it more or less has already picked this spot it has to be here so whenever you're solving a puzzle on where you want to put stuff um, always place the things which you can't really change this I can't really change your location it either it's gonna be um, top right or bottom right the others I haven't figured out Okay, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. It's one more, I believe. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, the free report. Okay, the free report can go to the top. Okay, no, no um, I do not want people to see free report as the first thing. Okay, this here. This probably will be in the center. It would be good to have both of these together. Now this looks a bit weird. Um, I'm considering to not include the modules. Give the modules a second chance. Hmm. I did never considered putting the CD in the center. Okay, I guess this works. This is where your 
uh, your what you call it artistic skills will come into play. This is the part where I struggle with them. Not sure where to put everything. Okay, um, I'm happy with this. Download it, and that will be part one of this stream. Now I'll take a short break, get something to eat. It will be like, uh, I guess. About two minutes and I'll be back. So what can I show you while I'm taking a break? I'm not sure frankly. Mm. Don't mind, I will just show you this screen. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid I have to show you this screen and I have to turn the camera away. Or is there a way I can pause it? I doubt so. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll just pause the stream, then I'll, I'll get back after this. Okay? So stay tuned for part two. <laughs>